a new Shelby Mustang is on sale. McLaren readies a drop top MP412C, BMW and Toyota will develop a sports car, and we have a virtual concept of what F1 might look like in London. I'm Natalie, let's wave the checkered flag on this week with the news. The new Shelby GT350 will deliver 624 horsepower if you order the full Monty for about 35 grand and change. Lesser packages will take about $27,000 out of your pocket. Now the basic package gets suspension upgrades, better brakes, cooling enhancements, and interior upgrades. It also gets a Borla exhaust, a body kit, and those legendary Shelby stripes. The transformation takes about two and a half months. Those prices? Sorry guys, they're on top of the price of a Mustang GT. And McLaren said today that it will reveal the 12C Spider, an open top version of the MP4 12C supercar on July 3rd. The public has been speculating about a convertible version since the car debuted in 2011. No details have been released, but we expect the Spider to at least match the 592 horsepower, 443 pound-feet of torque of the hardtop version. And the price will probably be more than the hardtop's $230,000 sticker. And as expected, BMW and Toyota announced they will develop a sports car together and cooperate in building fuel cells, powertrain electrification, and lightweight technologies. BMW CEO Norbert Reithofer and Toyota President Akio Toyota signed the agreement at BMW's headquarters in Munich. In March, Toyota agreed to collaborate with the German company on lithium-ion battery research in exchange for a supply of its diesel engines. All right, Spanish bank Santander unveiled a video concept for a London Formula One Grand Prix on Thursday. There are no plans for the event now, though Bernie Ecclestone did imply that the event was a preview for something in the future. So who knows? Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next week. Enjoy the drive. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine, and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.